Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ha Rakakwadash Mama. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and the elders. Double honors to my elders as well, Aharwan Banyasha Allah, the Lion's Name Camp, here in Jacksonville, Florida. And salutations to the fellow Akim, outwife and the children that believe in truth and sincerity. It's your brother Athanyala. Back to you, another lesson in Yahweh Rajah's eyes, edifying. I want to touch a, a news article, all right, a news update, all right, prophetic news update um, as the wars and rumors of wars pertaining to, as it says, Cuba says Russian nuclear submarine to dock in Havana next week. All right, this is from two days ago, June 7th. A Russian nuclear powered submarine will make a stop in Havana next week. The Cuban authorities announced late Thursday. So this has been a talk in the news. Brothers been doing lessons and videos on it. All right. As what we have judgment. All right. Of, of Babylon, of Esau's kingdom, of here, of Basra. All right. Uh, America, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Pertaining to Revelations chapter 11, verse 8. Um, judgment. All right. Prepared and, and waiting for. The nuclear submarine Kazan and three other Russian naval vessels, including the missile Frig fr frigate Admiral Goshov Kov, an oil tanker and a salvage tug were docking the Cuban capital on June 12th through the 17th. Cuba's, Cuba's Ministry of the Revolution Armed Forces said in a statement, none of the vessels are carrying nuclear weapons, so their stop over in our country does not represent a threat to the region, the ministry added. So they're kind of throwing out a pre-warning, um, all right? But who knows this if that's to be true all right but these are the games that's being played with right now all right as the lord is bringing his judgment upon this place all right u.s says russia planning naval drills in caribbean sea all right the surprise development of the russian military so close to the united states comes aiming major tensions over the war in ukraine already in its third year Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel met with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin last month for an annual May 9th Victory Day parade on Red Square. And this is all stemming back from the Cold War, all right, that ultimately never ended, all right, as they're revamping their old Soviet Union, all right, pertaining to what Ezekiel 38, Gog and Magog being Russia and being the chief prince and the leader to these other heathen nations. All right, as they have the BRICS alliance being a, a, a line against America, all right, and against America's allies as well. One of the first scriptures I want to get up is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 2. Because one of the things I thought of, of how uh, Cuba has always been a player to, to Russia when you think about it. And they always tried to get a stronghold on, on Castro, all right? They tried to wait till uh, Castro pass, um, kind of similar to uh, Haiti, and try to throw a dictator in these uh, specific countries, especially being that it's close to America, all right? Um, Cuba um, is right next to the borders in the lower skirts of Florida, all right? Um, Miami, the Caribbean islands. So it's, it's, it's near America, it's near the U.S., all right, just as Russia can invade the U.S., all right, allegedly by way of um, Canada, Alaska as well. So they can be surrounded on all fronts, man. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51 and verse 2. I start verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, right? So a destroying wind, wind representing destruction, woe, destruction, all right? But it's all about what? Those who are rising up against the Lord, man, from, from, from as big as the Lord dealing with nations to as small as the Lord dealing with individuals. Whoever rise up against Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, his doctrine, his truth, his law, statutes, and commandments, all right? It's a judgment waiting for him. And it's pertaining to what? The, the second death, thermonuclear fire, all right? Is that what he's promised, all right? That was his promise to Noah 
and the covenant um, by way of the rainbow, which ultimately what the rainbow represent. All right. Being that what this is, what the pride month, quote unquote, allegedly the Lord is getting ready to bring that pride down. All right. So what he's sending Babylon, this is verse two, Jeremiah 51 and two, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Right. So they're being surrounded. All right. And the Lord is sending those fanners. You go to that fanners. It means like foreigners. All right. And it's ultimately going to fan her, meaning empty, empty her land. All right. Going into what? Emptying her land and disposing of this place, sabotaging this place, which is like a military tactic, sending in um, mercenaries and um, droves of migrants to overflow the economy all right that that, that can't even um stand on this on, on on its own as 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 we speak all right so it's all a war game and the thoughts of it brought me to um the time when fidel castro was in office and you had the movie scarface which depicted uh the mario boat lift all right. You go into the Mario boat lift. It was a mass immigration of Cubans who traveled from Cuba, Mario Harbor to the United States between April 15 and October 31st, 1980. The term Mariello is used to refer to these refugees in both Spanish and English. While the exodus was triggered by a sharp downturn in the Cuban economy, it followed on the heels of generations of Cubans who had immigrated to the United States in the preceding decades. So this is ultimately like when Castro, like he released, uh, supposedly, allegedly, he released the uh, prison and uh, a lot of a lot of people out of Cuba. He exiled the bad people, supposedly, out of that region, out of that nation, and and, and they came into America. And that's somewhat what you can see going on as far as these military aged men coming across the border in droves, all right? With a fresh start, a new uh, AI credit score, social credit scores better than the people over here, so on and so forth, all right? Um, getting um, government assistance, all right? All because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a war tactic. That's a, that's, that's, we at war, all right? After 10,000 Cubans tried to gain asylum by taking refugee, America is at war, that is, all right? And it's on its last leg. On the grounds of Peru Peruvian embassy, the Cuban government announced that anyone who wanted to leave could do so, right? Anybody who didn't want to be up under that um, philosophy, all right, and wanted to be up under the American philosophy, and wanted to go try to live the American dream, Q, uh, uh, Fidel Castro said, go ahead. All right, basically. The ensuing, and, and that's, what, that's what's going on, man. They come over here, they, they, you know, the uh, migrants come over here, but what they uh, Esau portray pertaining to 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Let me get it right quick. His media, all right, his propaganda is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11 lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices right and one of his devices is his propaganda his media if he can paint the picture he can tell it all right he 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 expect the people to believe it all right the three unclean spirits out of the mouth like frogs again revelations uh 16 and 13 all right going into the military the uh which is the teeth which they're gonna enforce the uh, policies on you if you if you if you uh, if you if you uh, agree or not agree, all right through draconian measures so on and so forth, all right their money they money which they can back and push their agendas and their philosophies their banking system, and and, and, and um, so what you have the military their money their banking system, all right the military equals their teeth their banking system the money the monetary system, all right as well as um their philosophy. All right, which is what ultimately started with the Council of Nicaea, Catholicism, but it it, it trans it it, it, it it even more of a pyramid scheme to where you have the churches on the street corners and different philosophies pertaining to that, 
even to different sects of, uh, of nonprofits and 501c3s of, of Black Lives Matter, uh, uh, LGBTQs, all different type of communities, man, that the Lord is getting ready to just burn up. As this place is a bottled up place of idols and the Lord is getting ready to put, put it to rest, man. All right, he has a great sacrifice in Basra. So just going back until how the migrants was coming over here um, around the time of, uh, in the 80s, all right? The 70s, the 80s. The Mario boat lift. It says the ensuing mass migration was organized by Cuban Americans with the agreement of Cuban President Fidel Castro, the arrival of the refugees in the United States created political problems for the U.S. President Jimmy Carter. Right, it, 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 it'll catch a, 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 a president off guard because now they, they, they're playing war games and war tactics in the marine time laws, like in the, the mimes, the waters, as that's a domain for war, the sea, as the shimayams, the, uh, the heavens, is also a domain for war. All right. As the Internet is a domain for war. All right. Every every way, every every everywhere this devil has laid himself and spread himself out as a green bay tree. He's going to be retracted. Man. He's going to be burnt up. And that's how you that's how you get rid of a, a, a strong vine. You got to burn it. Another thought was a. Uh, just going back to the Cold War and Cuba and the uh, affiliations with Cuba and Russia, um, it's the Cuban Missile Crisis, of course. Um, in October 1962, which shows you that what the Cold War never ended, all right? Uh, Russia was always the bear in hibernation, all right? As the, uh, the scriptures say, all right? As our uh, elder um, as well has did a lesson in the recent pertaining to it as well. All right, that's how the bear has been in hibernation. The bear representing Russia, the Kremlin, Gog and Magog, right? It says, in October 1962, an American U-2 spy plane secretly photographed nuclear missile sites being built by the Soviet Union on the island of Cuba. President Kennedy did not want the Soviet Union and Cuba to know that he had discovered the missiles. He met in secret with his advisors for several days to discuss the problem, you know. So they was, they was, they was, they was unease. Again, they were caught off guard, and that's what the Lord is preparing for them. They're going to be caught off guard again, all right? This is the book of Job, chapter 18, and I'll start at verse 11. Terror shall take him, Salakia. Terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Right. All right. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side, man. And that's what's being prepared, man. The destruction is being ready at his side, man. All right. Again, Russia can invade from the north, the northern parts of, of Canada and Alaska, as well as um, the southern parts of of, of of Cuba by way of uh, Florida, South Florida. And he, he got missiles, man. They got missiles like the Avangard, Satan 1, Satan 2, all right? Uh, missiles that not going to stop until it, until it hit its mark, all right? That's driven by um, technology. All right, that's why they have what the satellites. It was the uh, Cold War, Cold War, the race to get to um, the space, the throw up satellites up in the Shemayams. Um, all right, as again, uh, space and, and, and the heavens are, are domain for war. Um, Revelations 12, all right, the war in heaven, 12 and 7, all right. 
But it says here, what was the main reason the Soviets placed missiles in Cuba? Finally, placing nuclear missiles on Cuba was a way for the USSR to show the support for Cuba and support the Cuban people who viewed the United States as a threatening force. All right, so again, that alliance, that allegiance, man, it shows you, you can pretty much check Cuba off of being of the BRICS nations. They wanted to seize, like China. All right, so it's a, a because it's all on what the, U, the U.S. doings, man. They, they're found also caught. All right, they were the hammer of the earth. All right, Esau's blessing was the sword, and that's what he ruled with. This is Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. So the Lord is getting ready to uh, take him out. All right, his deed is done. This is Joel chapter 3, and I start at verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up, right? Because when the kingdom come, the, the, the world shall war no more, all right? When the righteous beareth rule, the people rejoice, but when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So the people mourn, all right? That was brought out in camp yesterday on how the people don't even know why they mourning. They mourning for the elect, they mourning for us, those who bear this truth. All right, those who's hoping on the Lord's mercy and salvation, all right, and the destruction of this place, the destruction man, of, of, of this, this society and what it stands for. So the Lord is what? Proclaiming among the Gentiles to, to gather up. All right, since everybody want to fight, let's get together and let's all fight. One all fight, and he go be the, uh, the the referee, and he go he go come in and, 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 and lay it down, man. He go lay everybody down. But this verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. And that's what they did, all right? Um, and that's why what the times of the Cold War, they put their uh, things for agriculture aside, man. It became poor countries and third world, world countries to build up their, their nuclear arsenal to prepare for this day, to prepare for the Lord's, the Lord's day of judgment. While America was over here in pride and being spoiled and living lavishly, all right? They wasn't, they wasn't turning their pruning hooks into swords. They were worrying about agriculture. They are not even worrying about agriculture. They were worrying about uh, designer. Shit that don't even profit over here. Different is all type of philosophies here to, 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 to uh, get swallowed up in. All right. And to seem to worry about, but if you worry about it, it's death. It's going to lead to that. All right. So the Lord got what? Judgment waiting, man. He got the Cuban missile crisis being revamped. All right. Because Russia is coming back into its old Soviet Union mind state. All right. Pertaining to Ezekiel 38, Gog and Magog. They're being a, a chief prince and a guard unto these other heathen nations that the Lord is gathering together to come up against America. Even though he's against these heathen nations as well. All right. He's, he's with them to a certain extent to do his bidding. All right, Daniel 4 and 17, the Lord ruleth in the kingdom of men. This is the book of Daniel chapter 4 and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men so the lord could get a kingdom to whoever he pleased man he gave it to what the basis of men all right because what we transgressed we disrespected the lord all right we turned our back from the lord so the lord turned his back towards us but now he has returned his face unto us by way of his son yahweh shah all right who who we are to acknowledge and establish on this earth with the hopes of, 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 of being saved, man, and being um, pardoned, right? But, hey, as for the people who don't listen 
hey, the, the missiles are going to be for you. All right. As the Lord is preparing this judgment for Babylon, thou join hand in hand, the wicked not going unpunished, man. If you join to these philosophies, you're going to go down with it as well, man. Jeremiah 51 states what deliver everyone from the soul. All right. And this is Jeremiah chapter 51 in verse six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, man. So he's going to render this place a recompense. All right. So we got to you got to cleanse yourselves. We got to cleanse ourselves and stay on the straight and narrow because it's here. Though it, though, though, though it tarry, wait for it. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, it's not. It's no longer Terry, man. The prophecies is speaking, and the judgment is at the door. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter one and verse four, and I close up. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, right? They put their satellites and stuff like that up there, but it was what for internet for folly. When they, now you got these other heathen nations combating you. And putting their satellites up there. And it's for judgment. Because the Lord got judgment in their hearts and their minds. All right. Ultimately to do his will. To take this place out. And now to make this place. Which is a third world country. As it's faking the funk. To ultimately act out. And be the third world country that it is. Man. And, 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 and be brought down to its demise. All right. So dope. Thou exalt thyself as the eagle, man. Fly above all these nations. Again, once the hammer of the earth looking down upon these other heathen nations, these heathen nations have gathered together and made a pact against you through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, man. He's going to fall down. He's going to fall like lightning, meaning quick. All right, as the scriptures say. If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Right, they won't leave not one leaning grape. That's why the Lord got judgment sitting here waiting, man. Because if it wasn't for the elect's sake, it will no flesh be saved, as the scriptures say. All right, that's how wicked this place is, man. That's how demonic this place is, man. It will swallow you up, man, mentally and physically. All right, till you hey, till it till it till it destroy thee, man. Again, the curses. But we have a chance to uh, 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 ultimately overcome these curses through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai through this truth. All right, as uh, Deuteronomy thirty and seven states that all these curses that come upon us is gonna become brought upon the heathen, man. All right. Verse 6, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They, have, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him, man. Right, so even the people that are dealing with you don't really want to deal with you. But they know you're being set up to be the consumers, man. You know, like these other countries, they really envy you, like China. They want it to be, you know, as they're being trying to be forerunners now. All right. But the Lord is going to throw down, man. Israel got next. Zion got next. Yasharala. All right. So what? all, all, all that is evidence against you, all the uh, nations that you dealt with. The philosophies that have reached out to those nations, they ultimately want to give it back to you. All right. There's no good for them or they people. So what? That's where, what the ten toes spoken of and Daniel come in at. All right. And your your allies being America's allies is going to come up against them. And it's going to be too much to bear. Look at the pressure that Russia's putting on America. Imagine that pressure they putting on a smaller country. Uh, of America's ally, all right, of surrounding, of, of surrounding them as America do, as America's in Ukraine, which is the back door of Russia or Taiwan, you know, was uh, messing with the uh, South Korea, separating that from uh, North Korea when they have one people.
This is the book of Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy, man. You know, um, Oppenheimer, all right? He created the smith that blew up the coals. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah put it in these German scientists, all right, teaming, these Temanites, to split the atom and drop it on Japan, on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, all right, all to amount to this day. All right, he's strategic. How about Shin Yahushua's strategic pertaining to his judgments? Again, though it tell you, wait for it. This is the book of uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 4, and verse 37. Yahweh Ratazada's lesson was edifying. By measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times. And he doth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. So that said measure is getting ready to be fulfilled pertaining to the Lord's judgments, pertaining to these nukes and these uh, missiles being shot off as America is being su uh, surrounded, all right, the land of unwalled villages. Mm -hmm. Shalom, how about DTA? Until the next one.